Good day, everybody. Hey, I want to pick up on a discussion that we were having in Bible class Sunday. Uh, it's based around a, a story from the life of Jesus in John chapter 8, where the Pharisees, the church people, the church leaders, bring to Jesus a woman who's been caught in the act of adultery. They only bring the woman. Adultery takes two people, but they only bring the woman, and they want Jesus to tell them what to do with the woman. And uh, the, the law of Moses says that they could stone people caught in adultery, not just the woman, but the woman and the man. And they want Jesus to either say, forgive her, and then he's going against the law of Moses, or stone her, and then he's going against what he's been teaching about forgiveness and loving people. And so what Jesus tells them is um, that he who is without sin cast the first stone. In other words, stone her. Go ahead, throw the stones. Throw stones at her till she's dead. But one caveat, only those of you without sin can throw the stone. And, and, and they recognize that they've been caught. And they drop their rocks and split. And Jesus is left there with the woman. And he asks her, who condemns you? And she says, no one, sir. And he says, now go and sin no more. And uh, I think there's a lesson here for us. I think it's a very timely, a very relevant lesson for us. And that is that when we confront sin, when we confront things that are offensive to God, our role is not to throw stones. We have to find another way to deal with it other than th throwing stones. That is, we deal with it with grace. We deal with it with go and sin no more. Um, I'm thinking about the election season. I've, I've seen a lot of people throwing stones. I'm thinking about the Olympics and the little scene that was part of the uh, opening ceremony of the Olympics. And I see a lot of people throwing stones. And church, that's not our role. We don't want to find ourselves throwing stones at people who have sinned because we ourselves are not without sin. We can't throw stones. And so I, I want you to think about that when, you know, before you put stuff up on social media, before you express outrage at something that offends you, make sure you're not in a position of throwing stones. Look for that position of grace and that position of go and sin no more. Well, that's it for this week. We'll see you this Sunday again at Bible class. We've got, a, I think, one more week in the 60s. We're going to look at the first man on the moon and what that might have to do with uh, the mission of the church. Have a great week. Bye-bye.